everyone, and welcome to the stream. I'm Vikorva, you can call me V, and today I am streaming Outer Wilds, which has become far wilder than I ever could have imagined. <laughs> the clue is in the name the whole time. Uh, I, I ha had such a week that I feel like I'd forgotten, I'd forgotten everything that was coming up, and then suddenly I remembered the sound of me being crunched like a marshmallow, and it all came flooding back. So, uh, <laughs> yes, we have no time for marshmallows this time. We're, we're running as quick as we can to the lake bed cave to see if we can find the si secret sixth location. Uh, hello and welcome to Tefarax, to Zan, to Talon, to Cloudcatcher, to Quarrel, um, and to Rowan. It is lovely to have you all here today. Rowan says, I did it. I managed to exercise, shower, and fix breakfast before the stream started. That's fantastic. Rowan says, I love how ridiculous this sounds as an accomplishment to V, who is streaming at 2pm in their time, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I'm honest with you, I think that's still an accomplishment if you were in the same time zone as me. Yes, and no time for marshmallows if we don't want to be a marshmallow ourselves. Huh? Alright, we're going. Run. Sprint. With all speed. I believe that we can do this. Probably. Although I'm horrendous at mazes. Surprising no one. Where's my- Ah, I've the, the worst possible turn circle. I am not built- I can never be a speedrunner. I am not built for this. Alright, we're going, we're going, we're going. <laughs> Zan says, I've had days when I didn't have breakfast and etc. before 2pm. To be fair, exact. That's exactly what I was thinking. Alright, I'm in space. I am looking for... The twins? Oh, oh, the twins! I'm going! Uh, okay, it, we are drawing, drawing nearer. I'm hoping we don't crash into the sun, which seems to happen far too often, but maybe we'll, maybe we can do it this time. Tefrex says it may take a few crunches, but you'll get it. Thank you, thank you for your confidence. Gosh, look how big Ash Twin is right now. Alright, we're going in. There we go. I don't think I'm gonna need my ship. I'm just getting out. Flashlight. Terrifying abyss. Where are the stairs? Come on, give me the stairs. Here we go. Okay. Well, this is definitely the fastest we've ever gotten here. I don't think that comes in here. Oh, it does come in here? That's a problem. Okay. Uh, we had some good advice to put down our scout launcher at uh, junctions. Now, that way doesn't go anywhere, so this is not a junction. That doesn't go anywhere, so this is not a junction. Um... This, this is, okay. I'm going to launch it here. I'm going this way. There's nothing there. Um, okay, it seems like there's two ways here, so let's go this way. Uh, nothing there, nothing there. Nothing there. Let's go back to our scout launcher. There, it looks like there was one more path that was this way, perhaps? Nothing there. That's quick becoming no good. Um, oh no. I don't understand. I've looked. I don't understand. 
There's nothing that I can't get through these. Maybe it's something up? Is there something up, up? No. I, oh no. Oh no! No, no, no! I, I can't go back without getting crunched, but there is no way. I'm pausing just a sec. Am I missing something? Am I missing something? Shad, hello, welcome! Uh, I'm <laughs> going to be turned into a terrible marshmallow. Um, keep looking up. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to keep looking up. Uh, no. that way. What about this away? No. Hang on. Hang on. I have not been using this way. Oh! Oh my gosh, we're somewhere! We are somewhere! Hang on, I'm gonna retrieve my scout and shoot it up there so we get some more light. Up! Oh my gosh, we're, we're, we, we found somewhere. <laughs> oh wow, I can't believe first attempt we've made progress. Oh, we're probably still gonna get squished though, right? Um. Oh. Yeah, it's not looking great out here. With the sand slide and all. Oh. Okay, okay. Uh, I've learned some things. I don't feel like I'm going to remember the path again, though. Um, okay. If I stick you up here. Yes. Ooh. Nope. I need, I need to land. I can land on you. Right? Nope. Let me, let me land on you. Please! Oh. I gotta try again. I gotta step, step, stepping stone it. Okay. I come up like this. Three minutes of oxygen. I don't like that. I go up like this. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. No, we're so close! Come on! I don't have the oxygen for this! Okay. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I thought we were through the last of it! I should have known! Okay. This is going well. This is going well, probably. Oh! Ha! No! No, I could see it! Okay, okay. Oh, ooh. I'm running out of fuel. No! 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 I'm never gonna find my way back here, please! <laughs> I need to do it now! We're going up. Up. Okay. Then we're going like this. And you're gonna let me in? Oh, oh, next structural path. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, where are we now? Uh, keep looking up. I just wanna make sure. Cacti, the oh, the maze continues. There's no way! Oh! Is this maze quantum? Those are quantum cacti- Oh no! <laughs> Why? Okay. No. I'm going to suffocate. P the cactus. Please.
Please, a tree? A, a tree. Nope, more sand. A tree! Oh! Oh. Fuel level critical? Yep. If you've come here to look for Coleus, this is where we, we were when he vanished. He's been missing for two days now. What happened before Coleus disappeared? We were examining the different rocks. I recall Coleus standing on the largest one, the Wandering Rock. I was taking notes, then my lantern died. When I lit it again, Coleus and the rock were both gone. That's like on the Quantum Moon. Your strange Wandering Rock friend is here, the Coleus isn't. Coleus and I observed this unusual rock shard and several smaller rocks in at least two other caverns. I'm unsure if this is relevant. This rock shard is big enough. Oh, you! No, 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 that's not what I want. I want to retrieve you, photo mode, take a picture of you. You're, you're a bad rock. I need to stand on you and turn off the light. That turns off the light. Lights are out. Oh, it is! Oh, am I going? Is this going to be really scary? Okay, I'm gonna go and stand on it. You gotta tell me the truth. Is it going to be super scary? Thank you for all of the um encouragement, everyone. Hello, Srillic. Welcome. Hello, Sunday Luna. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> There's a potential jump scare in this room. Was it the big rock? It's as scary as quantum rocks are, so like reasonably scary. Thank you, Shad. Okay. But I, I'm a quantum, quantum rocks. It's, it's, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Be brave. Ugh. <laughs> but I hate being brave. Oh. I have to get rid of the picture. Oh god. We're traveling. Okay, we're in a new place. Because we're on the rock. Okay, interesting. I need to find the secret sixth location, probably. This might be it, so I need to take a picture. Um, yeah, stay here. I don't have any fuel. Oh no, it's gonna leave. How curious, this rock took me with it to a new location. It's Coleus, I wonder why this happened. I wonder if I myself became quantum briefly when the rock carried me here. This seems the clearest explanation, hypothesis. If the rock can bring me here, it can also carry me out. My hypothesis was correct, I can travel on this rock as long as I'm not observing my surroundings. Meaning I must be in complete darkness, I'm going to bring my mentor here to see this. Meloria is here now too, we theorize when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to act as an observer, explaining the need for darkness, the being can become entangled with that quantum object and they move together. And they move together. Friends, Coleus has discovered a new quantum rule. He also promised me he'll never vanish again, even if he does learn something useful from it. Curious, but also alarming, this new cave appears to lack an entrance or exit. Also, the rock that brought me here disappeared while I wasn't watching. The wandering rock has returned. Never before have I been so delighted to see a sedimentary specimen. Let me just check this again. When a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object. That's why I could stay on the moon, but my ship couldn't. Okay. Rock. I need you to come back. Okay, oh yeah, whoops. Oh. Thank you, Rock. Where are we going? Where are we now, Rock? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Coral says quantum briefs. Are you wearing underwear today? You won't know until you look. <laughs> Zan says, I've decided I would like a quantum transport rock. Much cooler than a car, maybe less convenient. Makes the commute much easier, says Tefarax. I mean, the quantum rock is very cool. to keep being my friend, right? Is this where I- this is not where I got on. This might be a place I found- I entered previously. Doesn't look like it, though. Uh. It is. 
We've been here. But that's only accounting for a few of the locations. Oh yeah, there's the... Yeah, we've been here. This is the cave with no exit. This is where we got on. It's filling up. But this isn't six locations. This is... I'm finding three locations at the moment. Ooh, hang on. <laughs> Shout says depends on your rock. A quantum chair could be comfy. Zan says you're low on oxygen. Be careful you don't run out. Oh, good point. Uh, we should go back to the tree. Here we go. There's a... comes back the moment I turn off the light. This rock loves to move. Um, how would I get it somewhere else? This is new. This is new. This is new. Uh, scout, launcher, snapshot. Why am I out of oxygen again? I thought I got it from the tree. back. Oh yeah. Okay. The tree, the tree, the tree. I didn't stand next to the tree long enough. Okay. I need op I need fuel though, which is going to be a problem. Come on, sixth location. This is you, okay. I'm going to take a picture. I don't know where I am. I do know where I am. I, I, there's somewhere that this rock is going to take me that I don't know. But I haven't been there yet. Oh, I can get fuel from up there. Hang on. I feel like the rock's going to bury me in sand pretty soon. Uh, interesting. The unidentified signal is is the quantum rock. We've heard it cry before. Um, uh, I need to get up there. Oh, my ship is down here. Perfect. I can just get my fuel from inside my ship. Oh, my ship is uh, filling up with sand. It fell. Okay. Yeah. No. Um, thanks for being such a great ship. Ship. Hang on. Good landing. What's my fuel like? Horrendous. Got the fuel. Oh, let's see if I can go back in. I could have ridden on it the whole time. So, have I found everything with that rock yet, or no? I feel like there's more to find. Okay. I think this is quite a friendly and active rock. Okay, I might die on the movements because uh, it seems wherever we're going is filling up fast. Okay. I'm gonna take a picture of you. Alright. 
Is this somewhere I've been? I'm gonna get crushed. I'm gonna get crushed. I think this was a new place. Uh, I'm never gonna make it. Wait, I can ride on the rock from. I can ride on the rock from an accessible location now, though. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna meditate and not get crunched. Ha ha! After the loop, your ship luck will be able to pro provide context if you're unsure. Ooh! That's good. Okay. We're meditating to the next loop. We can check our ship luck. But I can ride on that now. I didn't get crunched! <laughs> this is easily the most successful start of a stream I have had on this, on Outer Wilds. Jabal, hello! Jabal says, how are we all fellow Harthians and know my and other assorted aliens of the chat? <laughs> Very well, thank you. Oh, Oscar Varian, hello! I don't know, I don't know if I've missed you in chat. I've been, I've been concentrating so much, hello. Um, let's see. Rowan says, today on Outer Wild, Ember Twin does not eat a crunchy marshmallow. We can hope. Uh, let's go see. It'll tell me if there's more to discover in my ship log. Alright, ship log. You! Like bed cave. Looks like there's still more there. In that uh -huh. There's more to explore in the quantum caves. Okay. Lake bed cave. I need to stand on it. Okay. So I've learned everything there. I know about the Ash Twin Towers. Summer City. more to discover in the sunless city. Dunchet's camp. There's more to explore in the quantum moon locator. Alright, we have a little bit more to do then. I'm gonna go back to the rock and we're gonna see where it takes us. I don't think we've found the secret six location yet, even though it had no entrance or exit. I don't think that was it. Um, if I can be... <laughs> not be conscious of anything when I stand on a quantum object. If I'm in darkness, it will I'll move with it. I know that that's useful for the quantum moon. I probably needed to know that on the moon to know about turning off the lights and I just kind of bumbled into it. But there may be other relevance there as well. I don't know. Hmm. Alright. Should I go back to the quantum rock and see if there's any more exploration to be done there? Or should I try and go to the sun station, which is something I still really want to do. Cloudcatcher wants to share some cool news. Oh, please do. You are welcome to. Coral says, I think, but I'm not sure that the rock in there in the cave is supposed to be the reveal for the fact that you need to turn on the light, off the lights in the quantum moon. Yes. Okay. Uh, Jabal says, are there any other rocks around the place you can ride on like that? Well... That's an interesting idea. Most of them seem to just move around a room and most of them are in lit locations. So it has to be in darkness for us to be able to ride on them. A quirl, yeah, we just, we, we absolutely had the same thought at the same time. <laughs> it's very funny. Zanvot's Sun Station. Hello, Sam. Welcome. Happy Friday. Cloudcatcher says, this week I managed to finally get all of the achievements in Outer Wilds. Oh, Wow. The surfing one, if you know, you know, not a spoiler. It took me quite a lot of time. Wow. Congratulations. That sounds like a real achievement. There is so much in this game and it is all so difficult <laughs> to do. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely impressed. All right, let's go sun station. Let's go, let's try and go to the sun station. We got to get there quite early. So like now, probably. Uh, am I, I'm already wearing my suit. Am I already wearing my suit? Yes. Okay. We're going to space! I feel like there's gotta be another way to get to the sun station that I am just completely unaware of. Uh, nonetheless, that's not what we're doing. <laughs> Hang on, 
if I orbit with you. Oh, no, no, no! Yeah. That was a bad one. <laughs> I should have autopiloted to, to Ash Twin first. <sighs> Jabal says, are we sure there's no way to get on the stun station from the Ash Twin teleporters? Maybe. None of the towers were a sun ta were a sun station tower. All the towers were for specific planets. So I'm not I'm not convinced. Alright, let's go. Wait. Probably we have time for just like one marshmallow. A celebratory we didn't get crunched marshmallow. Huh. <laughs> Sans says you were like an asteroid. <laughs> Cloud Cat just says I love how many things in this game can be solved by sleep. I relate to that. Oh, absolutely. Conley, hello! Oh, no need to apologize. It's just lovely to have you here. All right, let's see. Just as a reminder to everyone, including Mots, um, it's always okay if you can't come. I don't want this to feel like a, a big responsibility for anyone. I'm, uh... I can I can manage fine on my own, but I appreciate I, I appreciate the help very much. This isn't working. I'm gonna be I'm gonna crash onto Heckin. No, I got free. I got free. Okay. And this is the same for any viewers. Like I love absolutely love having you here. But you don't have to apologize if you can't make it. Like this is not <laughs> this is not a very important thing. Uh, and you know life gets in the way even if it if it is something you prioritize. So it's just it's completely fine. No, 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 I'm falling into the sun. I don't want that. Wait, do I want that? I think I don't want that. I think, I think I want to go to you, you. I think I want to, you haven't even started pouring yet. Wow. The sun station. That's the sun station. The sun station. Okay, we're not going to get to that in time. Maybe it'll... If we slow, it will... No, please. Backwards. Backwards. Away. <laughs> okay. We gotta time this, I guess. It's gonna come back around. And when it does, we will land on it. We're being sucked into the sun. We're getting sucked into the sun. We're getting sucked into the sun. Deep breaths. <laughs> One cocky boy, hello! One cocky boy says, I think doctors generally recommend not falling into the sun. Hmm. I'll take that under advisement. Tefarak says, only 7 out of 10 doctors recommend not falling into the sun. Calmly says, I appreciate that, however, you're my friend and these streams are always so lovely, so I really like hanging out with you and all of you on chat. Aww. I really like hanging out with you too. Okay. Sam says, while well, the sun very much wants to hug, hug you, it is generally not recommended to do so. There's, am I missing something? I'm sure that you can just land on it, because I've bounced off it before. But there might be a trick. There's often tricks. It's not quantum. Like when I look away, it doesn't. I mean, it, it's orbiting. So. Calmly says, ask your doctor if sun falling is right for you. <laughs> okay. You, Ash Twin. You're a good location from which to try and bounce onto the sun station. I'm willing to take a vague hint. Am I, is there something I'm supposed to know before I can go to the sun station? Or do I just need to get this right with trial and error? Do I just need better piloting skills? Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, I can't really see the sun while I'm sitting on here. And again, I'll see it again when I spin around. There is something you're supposed to know? The intended way is a puzzle. Okay. Well, with that in mind then, I guess I'll come to Ambertwin and see what we can do over here. Ooh, ooh. Oh, no. What if I... There was more to be found here. They said there was more to be found in the quantum caves, so I could go and land on the rock, turn off the lights and see where it takes me and make sure I've seen all the locations. And that's what I'm going to do. Let me just check again for what Trees, the quantum caves. The Sunless City and the Moon Locator. Okay. We'll go Quantum Cave. Moon and then maybe Moon Locator because that's a very easy one to get to. We're probably not getting to Sunken City this late. I guess Look at that! Look at it! It's so near! Wait for me! Wait for me! Uh. I feel like there's a non-zero chance it's gonna have something to do with the interloper, which I don't want to have anything to do with ever again. Zion says I love that it's actually possible to take the most terrifying way. I think everything in this game is designed that you can take the most terrifying way if you choose. All right, how sandy is this? Not very. Ooh, I've been jumped again by this rock before. All right, let's go have a look at this. Have you seen the shipless landing? Shipless landing? Oh, what? Tabal says the key is at the sun station implies the existence of dad station. Oh no. Shipless landing? People are fearless! They did it on a speedrun showcase. Wow. Speedrunning this game! You must have nerves of steel. Okay, we've... I'm sure we've been here. This is definitely not a new location. In here, and there is no exit, entrance, or exit. This is where we came in. It won't take me- interesting. It won't take me back to the- the quantum cave. The lake bed cave. Why won't you? Hey? I know you go there! <gasps> Why? Maybe it's already full of sand- oh. That's certainly it. Yeah, okay. Well, with that in mind. I guess we'll just come back here. Ooh. Um, let's go have a look at the moon locator. Although I don't know how relevant the moon locator is going to be because I, I can already get on the moon. Much, much though I was delighted when I first discovered it. Everyone 
wave the dark bramble slash make obscene gestures at it. That's what I would do if my hands went on the controllers. It's just the one controller. Look, Dark Bramble makes me nervous, okay? <laughs> uh, here we go. quite a lot compared to what it actually does. That might be relevant. Let's read these again. This planet sometimes and only sometimes has a moon. This is also of note. It just appears if no one is watching it. Isn't that a fascinating orbital characteristic? I found your note, Malore. Kindly count me among this moon's admirers. Me too, now. <laughs> what is happening when it disappears? I doubt it ceases to exist. Is it moved to another location? Yes. I believe so. Not only does the moon appear around Brittle Hollow, I can confirm it sometimes orbits Timber Hearth as well. This is my first time encountering a natural satellite with the ability to vanish when not being watched. We should study it, or even better, we should travel there. I agree. Our first step would be determining a method to track this phantom moon so that we can always know where it is. Given its reluctance to move while consciously observed, it might be a form of macroscopic quantum mechanics. Okay, yes. That's none of that is relevant but maybe something over here is play recording pick up scroll a recording oh yeah we do have recordings they don't speak only via um uh text church research notes property of church oh no this is this is us clearly the gnome were making astronomical observations here they chose an excellent spot what is this big rotating device for? What was it the Nomai were observing? I'd posit there's something special about the orange symbol on that device. Yeah, I mean, Chet, we know that. All right, let's take the scroll. Probably read this already as well, but... The quantum moon locator is functioning. We have markers for each of the places the moon goes. Anona Burr, I just observed the quantum moon in orbit around Dark Bramble. I added a marker for Dark Bramble. I thought the locator now accounted for all the phantom moon's locations, but sometimes the locator can't tell where the moon is. Perhaps there's a problem with the device. It's also possible there exists a sixth place in the star system from which the phantom moon travels. So the secret sixth location is, is the eye of the universe, which we've been to. You have keen eyes, my friends. This moon travels to a total of five locations, not four. No, six. Okay. None of this is new. Ship log updated. Oh, maybe I haven't done it on this run. Okay. Because I had to reload. Because my computer exploded. Restart, rather. Anything over here? Trees! Well worthwhile. Okay. Hello, ship log. Map mode. Just default to map mode. I beg you. <laughs> the quantum caves is still more to explore. The lake bed cave is done, though. I don't understand. I need to get to the sunless city. Missing things in the Sunless City. Okay, well that's not going to be doable on this loop because everything is full of sand. But I could re, uh, I could meditate until the next loop. <laughs> Sam, I love <laughs> how you responded to Dark Bramble. Fantastic. Um. <laughs> oh, Cotton Candy Envy. Hello, welcome. Far too polite a hello for Dark Bramble, in my opinion. All right, uh, I'm gonna meditate until the next loop, and then we're gonna go to the Sunless City, which I believe we can get to down uh, via 
Yeah, via the um <sighs> Do What's the fast? No, we we'll go yeah, by the gravity cannon. Okay. Sounds is the Sunless City is such a badass place name. This is pretty cool. It is. Clan Candy says I like Dark Bramble, it's just misunderstood. Oh, I think I understand it. <sighs> I understand that it's mean and spiky and nasty and I hate it. Um, let's see. Sounds as that name reminds me of Fall in London. Oh, very much. Sunless Sea. Yeah, yeah, comedy. Alright. No time for marshmallows, we're moving quick. What have I not explored in the Sunless City? Am I just... Is it just that it doesn't remember everything I've looked at? Because I haven't looked at some things again. What, whoa, 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 whoa. If anyone wants to give me any hints about what in the Sunless City I'm missing, I would appreciate that. I want to keep up the forward momentum, and I I, I don't want to I don't want to just have to keep going back all the time. Tefarax says I think there are a few pieces of text in the Sunless City that people often miss. Is there anything there that you think I should be going back for, or do you feel like I have the most relevant information? Because if... If I don't need to go back, I can go somewhere else. Because there's more to explore, I'll have a look in the log. Um... You have most the most relevant information, okay. What I'm gonna do is, I'm going to land my ship again. Somewhere. I feel like there's probably more on Timber Hearth, but... Maybe I should ask the ship log. Let's go have a look at the log. Ash Twin we haven't done very much with. Sun Station. Hang on, hang on, hang on. The Nomai debated building a Sun Station in order to power the Ash Twin project. The Nomai built something called the Sun Station, but not everyone supported its destruction. That's all we know. Okay, well that's not very useful. Ash Twin. The Ash Twin's project. It thinks we've done everything here. No, wait, that's a huge question mark. That's not done, surely. The Nomai plan to construct technology capable of producing a 22 minute negative time interval on Ash Twin, which they have done. Every memory recorded by a Nomai statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within Ash Twin. But it doesn't say there's more to explore, so have we done that? Tefrax says there's additional lore if you're in a lore mood. I mean, just not knowing what I am what I am looking for, or like which ones I might have seen and which ones I haven't is irritating, so. Poirot, you did not miss the sun station because I don't know the trick yet. Question marks are rumored so you haven't found them yet. But I've seen the big storage thing. All right, let's go to Ash Twin and see. Oh, I bet I haven't explored any of that on this run. Ah, okay. We're going back to Ash Twin. I know I've already, I know we've already done quite a lot there, but I don't think it was on this loop, so not on this loop, on this run. Off we go. Please don't crash into anything. Okay, that's going well. No crash yet. We've gone in lots of the towers, we've teleported down to the planets. We know that each tower corresponds to a different planet and that the designs of the towers mimic uh, unique properties of each planet so that we can tell them apart. I know that those big, I'm pretty sure rather, that those big um, leafy uh, towers are the memory storage things. Maybe I need to wait, I probably need to wait quite a while until this is a lot lower, but let's land here for now. Oh, hang on, I can't use that to go in. That takes you up, not in. There's the leafy things I was talking about. Hello, Quantum Moon. I 
I'm not mad at you anymore. You're pretty cool. Scary, but cool. Now let's see. up here. I can't just let my ship get... Get knocked around. It's pointing to the quantum case? I guess I'm gonna let my ship get knocked around. I want it to look at the Ash Twin project now instead. Look at me using my map. Whoever would have thought I can't, uh, I can't do that as a destination or anything, so we'll just leave that. Candy Envy says Quantum Moon Space Rock Dad. It definitely has Space Rock parent energy. Tefrax says, I know you don't like rumor mode in the ship look, but if you look at the Ashtrin project on there, it may suggest associated information. Oh, fine. I'll do it. I have time. workshop we've been there there's still more to do on Gabra's island but I I still don't know what though uh, let's see Sun station Sun station is connected here and to the sunless city Terrifying. Escape pod. I mean, I can't really, I can't really make any sense of this. <sighs> Every new my warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. To use a tower, you must be standing on the warp platform during the tower's alignment with its corresponding astral body. Why is it telling me that about the White Hall Station? Mm. Oh! <laughs> There's just too much still to explore. Oh, time didn't pass while I was reading that, which I really thought it would. Um. Well, I'll take a look around and see if there's anything else uh, I'm invisible. There's one of the towers. You are spiky, so you might be a bramble. You can heck off. I don't like you. There's something else. Ugh. 
Whoa, this is risky. My ship might leave. Just no? Come on. No? I'll just keep carrying it. Okay. why I want to take the thing to get to the top. Hmm. What am I trying? What setting am I trying? Sorry, chat's moving fast and I'm I'm not able to keep up at the moment. Not important right now? Okay. I think, I'm pretty sure I've been up there before and... Quantum moon. Oh, goodbye, quantum moon. Where's my ship again? I need to get into the base of this towel, probably. I'm pretty sure that this is the storage, the memory storage. I don't want to teleport to any of the other planets right now. This is probably the, the twins, isn't it? Because it's two towers. Let's see. You, you look like. Hollow. And you were not revealed yet. Okay. I wonder if there's some way to get the tower to project its beam way into space or something? It says it only activates when it's aligned with its planet. I guess I'll go stand on top and use that as a way to see how how the planet sand disappearing is uh, progressing. Let me see all the towers from here. That looks extremely dark brambly. 
<laughs> and I hate it. Things are a lot more revealed. Now might be the time. Oh, whoops. Oh, that's not great. I need my ship. giant steep. Yeah, and all these towers, the um, the leafy towers, must be the memory storage, but I can't get into the base of them yet. And maybe I won't be able to until the sun explodes. <laughs> Zan says it's interesting seeing the sun get progressively angrier while you're here. Yeah. And nearer, because it's growing. It's interesting the rock formations that are on Ash Twin. Like, there is a certain amount of ember twin like structure here can't actually get into these and the sun will explode before this becomes relevant. <sighs> How this makes sense since they probably formed from the same source? Yeah. I mean, they're obviously incredibly intertwined. Looks like the music's gonna start any moment. Are we any closer to being able to? No, I don't think it's going to happen. Strelik says. Typing is hard when Papa demands pets. We have Mama Dog who boots with extreme insistence when you stop petting. Ah, uh, I know that very well as a cat, uh, a pet owner myself. A pet's human, rather. Humanish. 
Uh, let's see. Please. Reveal your mysteries. Also, I want to put this down. I know I've already read this. I won't let me put it on the sand either. It's just permanently attached to my hand, I guess. Oh, going back in. <laughs> Zan's is damn son personal space. Jabal says Ember gets properly full when the loop ends and you can see it isn't yet. I mean, it, it's, it's getting close though, right? Also, I know Ash Twin can be like basically non-existent uh, at the end, so I guess I guess you must be right. We're not quite there. This is like when we were trying to get into the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Like I've arrived here way far too early. Been in the wrong way. Yeah, like this, like this, like whoa. no, 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 yeah. Great. Yeah, that's giving us a great view. Oh, it's really getting there, though. We must be nearly here. I'm gonna get eaten by the sun before the world ends. <laughs> oh no. I guess I should get out and see if there's a door. Without falling into the sun. is scaring me. I'm meditating until next loop. <laughs> uh, it's like having a, a, a kaiju breathing down your neck. It's horrible. I didn't enjoy that. 
All right, I'm gonna look at the log and see about exploring elsewhere. I guess I could go... No, the Sunless City we think I've got everything relevant from. I think there's more to do on Brittle Hollow. There's definitely more to do on Giant Deep. It seems like the Whitehall Station has more for me to do. Maybe I haven't done it in this run. All right, let's go have a look at the log and decide. Cotton Candy envies a scenic elevator ride. Not very scenic. <laughs> Claustrophobic, viewless elevator ride. Not that I like seeing things when I'm being traveling up high either, but. Oh yeah, the ship block. Okay. Tefrax says, I took some close-up sun photos for one of my Outer Wild photo projects, and it's viscerally unpleasant to spend any time in close orbit. It's- I- I believe you. I was not enjoying that at all. Um. Alright, Timberhearth. We've done the Dark Bramble Seed. We haven't- Ah, uh, a Timberhearth thing to do. A quantum signal coming from somewhere on Timberhearth. Oh, no, that's just all rock, isn't it? Well, let's just do that because I want to visit Space Rock Friend, and then we'll do whatever's next. Can I get there? I think I can. Oh, I feel so cool. I've never been here with- I want to hear you sing. I've never been here with my signal scope. Space rock friend. <laughs> you, your, your song is much more pleasant, space rock friend. I can always count on you. <laughs> I can always- <laughs> I can always count on you. All right, I'll catch you later. All right. I didn't expect to glean any new information from that. I just thought it would be fun. Sam says museum shard is an odd way to spell space rock friend. I also had like a moment of cognitive dissonance when I saw that it was identified as museum shard. Space rock friend deserves better. Ow. I got squished by the lift! I got squished by the lift! I, <laughs> I was just like, hold on a minute, the lift is at the top! And then I got squished! Oh, that scared me so much! <laughs> oh, no! It didn't sound like being a marshmallow crunched. I, I, it was like a, I was a slug. Oh my god. That was a very soft squish. The lift! The lift came down and landed on top of me! Because it was at the top. Because I'd taken it to the top. I don't trust this lift anymore. I mean, I guess it is timber half construction. Srillix says the lift didn't. It <laughs> didn't lift. <laughs> oh, Zan said, who knew one of the most horrible ways to die would be here? This is not one of the most horrible ways. But is definitely unpleasant. Coral says, B, why would you ever trust anything that Harthians built? Is, I mean, you're 100% right. I should have known. Alright, that's explored. Adel Rock. I've been to Eska's camp, but I haven't been to Eska's camp. On this run? Have I? No, it's, just, it's acting like I have. Doesn't say I have anything else to do here, so that's good. I've never been to Hollow's Lantern. That's a point. I mean, I will definitely just die when I do, but... Southern Observatory. 
the old room is. There are two paths between Brittle Hollow's surface that lead to the observatory. One starts at the gravity cannon and the other starts at the tower of quantum knowledge. Rybex says you can't get into the observatory from the surface. Yeah. Okay. Well, I haven't been there. Let's do that. Let's go to the gravity cannon and find a way to the Ob southern observatory. Yes, that seems good. Let's do that. Strelix says, I mean, you died from a lift, so is anywhere else really all that bad? Yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. <laughs> <sighs> Jabal says, I think going to the lantern sounds like a way to become one with the marshmallows. Which is a very Harthian aim! <laughs> true, true. Alright, Brittle Hollow. Oh, no, autopilot. No, no, no. No, no, whoops! No, 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 no! Ah! Oh, I panic, unbuckled. tell you I have not been as terrified this stream this has been a very acceptable anxiety levels stream like I've obviously I'm terrified and my anxiety levels are still significantly higher than a regular person but like I don't feel like for an out of wild stream I've been that anxious so that's pretty good I'm happy about that because that could all change right now while I try and find the southern observatory but This time, I'm going to pay attention to the fact that I don't want to autopilot directly into Timberhof. And I'm not going to unbuckle from my seat. That's another good one. No, uh, abort. That looks bad. Now go. Jabal says, for some reason, I'm feeling more anxious than usual, so maybe I've borrowed some of your spare? Oh, I'm so sorry. I have so much spare. <laughs> I don't- I don't wish anxiety on anyone. It is an awful way to, uh, exist. Alright. Gravity cannon. Should be visible. Right? It's visible on here as well as on the other planets, isn't it? I think it is. Okay, let's down to reason. They operate in the same way and they're pulling something in from space. Right, that's the temple entrance, the tower of quantum knowledge entrance. You don't much care for that. Beacon. That's not what I'm looking for. I wish I knew where it is. But I honestly don't remember at all. Let's land and see if the map will help.
let's see. Turtle hollow. Uh, gravity cannon. Yeah, okay, good. HUD marker. How far away? Oh, there we go. Alright, everyone, black hole of incoming. It's gonna be awful. Uh, Hollow... Hollow's lantern, are you shooting at me? That's not... not very good. I'll be fine, I'll be fine, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. One of the least bad ways to die. the way. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, <laughs> Calmly says, what's the part of the planet least likely to lie to you? I don't know. Black hole. It's, it's really, it's just, it's just pretty. It's just pretty. It's not scary. Nope, scary, scary. That sure looks like you're just gonna drop me into nothing. No. No, 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 no. Oh, am I just gonna land in the black hole or what happens? Do I have to. Is it broken? Or do I have to switch paths? I'm gonna try and switch paths. <laughs> Probably is broken. Ooh, calmly says the ionosphere. <laughs> good, good, good. There was another crossways path, but I'm not sure that I'm I don't feel like it was supposed to just end there. But we're going back, we're gonna try again. Thanks everyone, by the way, for all of the help and company, and you've all been doing a great job of providing um, hints and encouragement when needed. I'm just gonna go again. I'm just gonna go again. <laughs> the stream started out so smoothly. It reacted damage as Pearl. Yeah, I don't think that was good. <laughs> Zan says I like that they take a deep breath. It actually meditating until next loop is making me feel much calmer. I, I like the sound of the deep breath. I like knowing that I can just have this gentle end if I don't like what's happening. So I think I'm going to be using it more. I felt like I shouldn't have been using it before. Like I, I felt like it was... If I, if I meditated every time I was scared I would never discover anything. And that's true. But I think I do need to be using it because um, I mean it, it just... I genuinely find it helpful. Um, yeah, thank you, Coral, for making sure I I had that. No, no, no. 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 <sighs> Tiberhoff does not want to let me go. Here we go. Zan says, like, okay, I'll just do it next time. It'll be fine. Yeah. 
Hello, Quantum Moon. Tip my hat to you. Cross is one thing I've wished for when playing this is an on screen loop clock. Ooh. Should have the gravity cannon locked, I do. Okay. Saving the bacon? Hello, welcome. How far into Adel Wilds are you? I don't know how to describe that. <laughs> um, yes, please do use my ship log, which Teferax has just posted. Uh, we're doing no spoilers. This is my first time playing the game. Okay. We're gonna try Southern Observatory again. Ugh, black hole! I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Ooh, ouch. Bad. That was not good. This is not the way. I think it's over here. Okay. Anyway, welcome. Zan says, I like how the planets are so aptly named. Brittle Hollow is brittle and hollow. Giant's Deep is giant and deep. Dark Bramble is dark and brambly. Dark Bramble is a hell mouth that should never be returned to. Oh, hang on. What if I put it down? That's just coming back to me. Okay. Going out. We're going to try and make the cross. All right, everyone. I hate this. Let's go. We're still going south. That's something, right? That is souther than we were. Okay. Yes, yes, more southern. Good. Oh, you're in other crossways. I think I want to go to that one. Oh, this is so scary! Okay, we're gonna keep going, we're gonna keep going. Oh, <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna have to jetpack up into that one. Got it. We're in the icy area! This is this must be beneath the Southern Observatory, right? Okay. Trees. Ah, hate! Okay. Um... Now that I'm looking around, I don't know what to do here. Uh, I can't jetpack that far. direction though this is where I am I've got to work out where to go from here was there another way around I could have taken the other path that goes in the opposite direction but that wouldn't have taken me to the ice now I can try and fall below I I there's so much gravity on this planet I don't think I can jetpack far enough to get over there that must be the hanging part of the hanging city right 
maybe this path is, is broken and you have to take the uh, Tower of Quantum Knowledge path. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, I was so excited to land here. Well, my oxygen's not looking great. So I need to make some decisions. Look carefully. Well, I know that down this way, um, no, not that way. Where is it? There's the the bridge far below. Ugh! Ugh. Should we try and land there? I don't think that's taking us where we want to be. Broken bridge step. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 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 No, I love that. Thank you. Oh, okay. We need oxygen desperately. I would, I, I had filtered these completely out of my mind. I would never have seen them. Those are gone. Go up. Okay. 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 Oh, yes. I, I, oh, I love walking toward the black hole. Uh, trees! Yes, trees. Trees. Oh, I'm here. Thank you so much, Tafarax and Jabal. I'm very pleased I'm here. I would definitely have just jumped off. Okay, okay. <laughs> I need to not screw this up. There's nowhere to go from there. Very. Probably not high enough to get. There's rocks over there. There's not. There's not any gravity rocks here apart from this one. Is there another? Oh. Uh. Is there another path? No, they're missing. If I jump that way, I will fall. up, so I'll just fall back down to here. Hmm. I might be able to make it across to there. This wasn't such a bad journey. I could do it again. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Okay. There's a path here. Oh, there is a path there. Okay. Um. Ooh, I hope this isn't about to fall into the black hole. That would be annoying. But I'll, I'll deal with it if it does. Slash meditate. One of those. <laughs> okay. Getting higher up here. I might. There's a lot of paths around here. There's so much to do here. Heck. That's probably going to take me up into the surface observatory, though. That's what I'm most wanting to do. So I'm coming this way. not gonna yell ghost matter at me. No, love that. I'm gonna run out of fuel. Let's go. Oh! New music! The door. The music is scary! Okay, we're here. Those are giants deep pecking. Okay. Is there a black hole forge here? I think there is. Okay, we gotta read. Projection stone.
Conoy, Daz, and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank down beneath the current. Orbital probe cannon components. That's what sank. Okay. Kazava convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts, but were very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of Giant's Deep here at Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory, and it reveals how an object might sink below the current. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to sink below the current? That's so scary! No, no, no! I already knew I was gonna have to do it, but now it feels closer. Conway, I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. There are two trailheads, one at Brittle Hollow's Gravity Cannon and one at the Terraform of Knowledge. Well, I'm already here, so you don't need to tell me about that. Okay, let's go read some more. Yeah, that's a that's a black hole forge. Can I not? I can. That's scary. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like this. Uh, Kasava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant's Deep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit, but one component was pushed down, this is so scary, past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. An update, it's now clear there are two different types of cyclone. Most cyclones on Giant's Deep rotate clockwise. These are the cyclones that Kasava typically uses to send components into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction. Anti uh, counterclockwise. Okay, we need counterclockwise and push this object beneath the water. No! My gratitude, Spire. Conroy is showing me your handiwork and I'm intrigued by the secondary type of cyclone. Was it really necessary to build the model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Diane Steve. Also, I very much wanted to make a model. I love you, Nomai. You're all wonderful. I need a counterclockwise heckin. I love how much everything you can encounter in this game, all of the knowledge that you can get, you can discover by accident. It would have been so easy to get to um, be in the water and get picked up by a, a counterclockwise cyclone and just get sucked down. And that's how I would have known. That's wild. I gotta keep looking around. Uh, I haven't finished, I need to use this projection stone for starters. Oh, I hate these. Yes, I've been there. Okay. Right, I've definitely done that before. Okay. Let's go up. Oh, I'm gonna have to go down and I don't want to! <laughs> How many people are named after vegetables? I didn't even pick that up. That's great. Okay. A lot of somethings. The twins? You're gonna let me observe the twins? Yet another orrery. Tip a half. Giant Steep. F you. Uh, let's see. And the eye. The eye? Really, really far away. Wow. That's where we travel to with the quantum moon? That's wild. Oh, it brought up something. Hang on. Unable to determine orbit. No signal detected matching any known criteria for the eye of the universe. I have long. What have we learned thus far in our search for the eye of the universe? Those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye's signal to this star system, but we were unable to walk to the eye itself. 
The locator we built on the Adel Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here were both unable to detect any trace of the eye's signal. Hypothesis. The eye has stopped emitting its signal. What? Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. Kasaba, how can you suggest that? The eye's signal called to out to us to summon us to the star system. I'm aware I grew up hearing the eye's story, yet we're no closer to finding it than you were when you first arrived here. Based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit around the star system's sun. This would mean the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. Okay. The eye doesn't want to be found. But the eye has stopped emitting its signal. That's more, more relevant. Everything's dying. Is that why everything's... How should our methods change as we continue our search for the eye of the universe? We know what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon, so what if we try to find the eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. We need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover those long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull, the gravity points. Giant's Deep would be a good choice. It's the furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch, and it's moonless except when the quantum moon is visiting. Yes, it's built the cannon in orbit around Giant's Deep. We've seen that it explodes at the beginning of this loop. As we couldn't find the eye signal using two different devices built for this exact purpose, we should discontinue this search method. How should I wait? Mala's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. I believe I have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken with Raimi and Pi about the technology they're developing? I'm gonna have to read the ship love on this one. Uh I think my ship is at the black is at the white hole station. Um It's definitely not here. Uh, okay. Is there anything else in here I need to find? Should we check around for more record tubes? Yes. I'm not seeing. I'm not really seeing anything though. <laughs> ah! Scary. Sorry. Uh, I don't see any more scrolls. That's where we came in. Tefrak says, incredible discoveries to finish up the stream, though. Absolutely. After so many crashes and so much nonsense, I can't believe that we've learned as much as we have. This is wild. So we need to get the eye of the universe emitting its signal again. Hmm. Sun's very red, we might be approaching the end of this cycle. So I might just let it run. Maybe we could go back and see if we could explore in one of the other directions. There was another path that we haven't taken. Can I even get back from here? I don't think I can, because it only goes up. So I would have to leave. Hmm. Well, let's stay in here then. Coral says, I love the Nomai, they're very me. Absolutely. They're very, very you, Coral. come back next stream and we will look at the other path because there might be some more relevant lore every time we find these key locations it's just stunning I'm so pleased
What a fantastic game. Also, you know what, next stream, we're gonna make an attempt at landing on Hollow's Lantern. It'll be just like when we get absorbed into the sun. But with more with more explosions. So <laughs> really? That's pretty good. I think the end music is coming. No. Maybe we won't get it while we're in here. Alright, well in that case let's go outside and enjoy. Oh, my body is so damaged. That's Chet's recording. Maybe we're not as close to the end of the cycle as it feels like we are. I don't know. But I haven't just watched, sat and watched the sun explode in a while. is finding a nice view for the end of the world exactly Jabal says this game does make me kind of miss writing game devings sci-fi stuff yeah I mean it's really good sci-fi really 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 good no music I guess we've interrupted whatever loop there would have been Quite haunting though, just hearing the sound of Brittle Hollow. We might get exploded before we can see the end of the universe. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. That sure looks like it's coming directly here. It's now. We were earlier than I thought. Strelix says that star looks decidedly unhealthy. It, it's not well. <laughs> Tom, this is one thing I found when playing it is I always underestimated how much time I had left. I frequently overestimate. And I thought I had a handle on it this time and then I was I way undershot. I feel like maybe it's maybe it's just consistently difficult to, to tell. Um, there we go. We've got a nice view since most of Brittle Hollow has fallen away. I still feel like we keep getting more and more information and I, I still, I don't have a clue what I'm working towards, but there's definitely a sense of progress and that's good.
go. <laughs> Alright everyone, thank you so much. Uh, I played way far, far longer than I thought I was going to play today. We nearly had a whole half hour extra, which is just ridiculous. A whole half hour? That's kind of a silly thing to say. We've had like... 20 minutes extra, which is quite a lot. Um, <laughs> thank you all so much for the company, for the hints. It just, it's been lovely. Uh, I'll be back again probably on Friday uh, with more of this. Road Warden on Wednesday. Um, but I am off next week, so I don't, um, off from work partially next week, so I don't know. Uh, ho hopefully I'll be streaming as normal, but things might change. So anyway, I hope you have a lovely weekend. And goodbye, everyone.